Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tamara. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Um, if you did click on this video, you probably have the same issue that I have. And that's that you have a ton of sneakers and you don't know what the F to do with them. You probably have sneaker boxes up to the ceiling. It looks a hot mess. And every time you walk into your room, you want to pull your hair out. No, just me. All right. Well, that's what I go through, which is why I'm making this video because I'm finally building a sneaker closet. Shout out to my girl Anna, aka A to the Bed, who is actually the inspiration behind this build. And also shout out to Ikea for making cheap bookcases that are really good for sneakers. Stay tuned. The first thing you're going to need is a Billy bookshelf, at least one. Uh, I'm going to use multiples because I got a lot of kicks. You're also going to need four extra shelves, aside from the ones that come in the pack. Okay, you don't need a drill, but I am using a drill, even though you're not supposed to, only because it makes the process go so much faster. You're also going to need a hammer, a screwdriver, flathead, and a pencil. Last but not least, a box cutter. Let's get started. Alright, so first off, box cutter, you're going to go ahead and open up the box. Be careful not to actually cut the product. shelves that you put in after it's already built these are going to be hooked into the shelf so these are the ones that you want to work with so you can put the other ones to the side for now and you can keep these laid out so you can just move faster one that's not going to be exposed or else your shelf's going to look booty. So this is what's going to face the wall and you want to make sure that it matches up. These holes have to face that way, right? But this has to face this way. So flip her over and get her in. So this side, make sure it's lined up properly so that it fits in there perfectly and there's no gap. Don't be afraid if it's loose, you're gonna tighten that later. I'm gonna make sure that everything lines up properly. So we have this down, now we're gonna go to this one, make sure that these are facing towards this little riveted area, and make sure that this space is out. So for the last one, it's actually gonna go the other way. So make sure that it faces the right way, and then make sure that this is still lined up. So for these guys right here, this is your next step. This is, this, this is super easy. So take this guy, and then you're gonna turn it over and these are gonna lock the screws in place. This is the backboard. So for this one, just go ahead and line it up in that little guy. Make sure it goes in properly. Don't worry that it's gonna be like this because we're gonna nail it down. Okay. Well, again, go through and see if you're, if you're in all the way on both sides. And then I also do this. 
just to make sure even more so, but we're, we're pretty good. Now it's time to nail some things. The directions actually say to do draw a line across the whole thing, which you should do, but I'm not going to. <laughs> because you can actually just not feel where the line is. But be careful, because if you're not good at it, you're gonna go through the front and it's gonna look really bad. So just be sure that you know exactly where you're hitting. So they give you 18 nails. So that should be six, six, and six. So we're gonna start, um, if you can see, there's like, dividers in these little panels right here. So just do two, two, and two to make it even across. So again, feel where the spot is. We have a spot right here. I'm gonna go ahead and nail that sucker in.